the ancient salt marshes. As in many other places between the Orne and the Seine estuaries, salt marshes have been used here for a long time. Before the fridge was invented, salt was very important. It was indispensable for the conservation of food, especially fish. According to archaeologists, the earliest salt extraction dates back to the first millennium BC, up until the Gallo-Roman period. Sea level was much higher than it is today. Historical documents mention the salt marshes in the Middle Ages and the period before the French Revolution in 1789. William the Bastard, also known as William the Conqueror and his descendants were involved in the salt extraction in the 11th and 12th centuries. Merville had an important salt activity at Escanville with up to 40 workers. Tithes were paid to the Trinity or Ladies Abbey in Caen. In those days the lower Dive Valley had a variety of wetlands, salt marshes, peat bogs and sandy swamps with brackish water. Extracting the salt was a way to use the soil and the water and it also helped to drain the marshlands. The climate in Normandy does not use evaporation to extract the salt as in the south of France and other techniques were used to get the salt out of water. In spring the tidal waters saturated the sand with salt. The sand was rinsed repeatedly until a concentrated brine was obtained. In huge boilers this solution was cooked, the water evaporated and the white salt crystals were left. Several reasons caused the decline of the local salt industry. The salt tax implemented in the 14th century, the Hundred Years War, the high production costs and unsure weather conditions and the competition. In the 19th century the marshes were drained, the landscape changed and agriculture was intensified. Salt marshes, freshwater swamps, meadows. Today these areas have gained in economic and environmental interest. The drained marsh is now used as grazing land or for cultivation, for, haymak for haymaking or cereals, thanks to the regular clearing of the ditches, drains and small canals. Wildfowling is frequently practiced from hides situated on the edge of small lakes or ponds. Apart from aquatic birds, mainly hunted at night, our land animals are the usual foxes, hares, coipus, muskrats, as well as moorhens, kestrels, wood pigeons, and grey herons, etc. The flora includes reeds, iris, calthus, comfrey, ranunculus, daisies, and hawthorn. 